Tonight we're going to do a little dining review from Billy Jean's restaurant here in Kerrville, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, Texas. Flavors of the Texas Hill Country. We're actually doing ours takeout. We're going to take it back to the KOA down the road we're staying at, but wanted to turn it into a dining review. You guys know what to do. Grab yourselves a tasty treat and a beverage of your choice to keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside this vlog at all times. So we found it on Google Maps. And of course you start reading over the reviews. It got great reviews. Then you start looking at the photos. Great looking photos. Great choices on the menu for all members of our family, including myself. As many of you know that follow us regularly, I tend to have some bad trouble finding food out and about due to food allergies caused by alpha-gal syndrome, which is caused by bites of ticks one or more ticks. So they have some good looking fish stuff on this venue. So I'm excited. Gonna have myself some trout. I think Mark went with the fried cod. Teddy's having some corn dog nuggets. It does look super cute inside, but with Lucy and stuff, usually a lot of times now we just do takeout and take it to a park or wherever we're staying. Cute looking signage here. And as you can see, there is plenty of parking and oh my gosh I didn't realize that you can have pets on the patio <gasps> oh wait a minute Th this might change something they even have bowls of water for the dog if we had known this we would have had them serve us but I didn't know this so anyway so, so the bread monster is already into the bread before I can even get pictures of the rolls. Here is what the rolls look like. The bread guy is already onto it. So this is Mark's cod with, he wanted fries and onion rings and it smells, like Mark and I are kind of fried seafood stomps and onion rings. Honey, this fry smells like Maine. This smells like a good fry. You're gonna like this a lot. Yeah, I think he's gonna be very impressed with this. Although I'm gonna can't really get a picture of the cod because it's beneath the fries and the onion rings. But my gosh, look at the fry on those onion rings. So here is the child's. What Teddy wanted was corn dog nuggies and fries. And he also has some fruit. And I'll get the top off that in a minute. And then here is my trout and my fried okra. Uh -huh. And then I have fruit as well. Trout looks good. Oh, I'm excited about that. Ah, all right, now I can settle in. I think the staff here think I'm a little silly because I was just trying to explain that I didn't know we could have a dog on the patio. So now that I know, the fries aren't spicy, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got, honey, you got fries in your dish too. You don't have to steal daddy's. <laughs> you have your own fries. So the reason why we have our own drinks too oh, yeah. is because we didn't think we could eat here. So we're not oh, yeah. trying to jip them, but. Let's put salt on it. Uh, just a tad. You don't really need much salt, bub. But oh, isn't this beautiful? And there's hummingbird feeders with the hummingbirds coming to them, the insects. People got one, over here. Mark got blackberry cobbler too for dessert. So I'll get a better picture when we get into it, but I didn't want to forget mentioning it. As you can tell, I'm really excited by this. This is, we were just saying off camera, our first official dining out experience with Lucy at like an actual establishment, not off in some park somewhere or parking lot. Oh, you couldn't ask for better. But anyway, I, I did tip them good too. So I don't feel so bad for having our own drinks. Watching a person kayak down through. I was telling Mark the inside is super cute too. Super like down home-ish, I was telling him. Very gave me a feel of someplace small family owned that you'd see back home in Maine. Um, very, almost like a small governor's or something you'd see in Skowhegan or that Newport works. or Ellsworth. Yeah, that's your fruit, sweetie. Mommy. Yeah, mom has her own fruit here. That one's yours, it's part of your meal. Do you see the person kayaking, Teddy? Mm -hmm. It's behind the trees. Now he's coming out from behind the trees. Oh, yeah, look. Lucy's being real good. Just 
kind of hanging out, enjoying the breeze. I moved the water dish over to the side. Ah, oh, this is like one of those gems that just falls into your lap, isn't it? Mm. How is your food so far? I love my clam yeah. dinner. You like this? I love my clam dinner. Your clam dinner? You can pretend they're clams if you want to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have mini corn dogs, but when we go home to Maine in a couple weeks, you can try clams. I had it to a, he was at a closer one, closer to us, and by the time I pulled my phone up. You probably haven't seen a hummingbird since last summer at Grandma's, huh? This is awesome. This is the theater closer to us. So speaking of drinks, I've lost mine because actually Teddy's meal did come with a drink and they did not give it to us. Normally I would go back in and ask, but Lucy is doing really well. I no, sir, please sit down, honey. Bye. No, honey, yeah, just eat your food, sweetie. Just an honest mistake. Besides that, you're doing pretty good with mom's drink anyway. Looks like you're enjoying it. I was just asking Mark his opinion on his fish, and he said a little soggy, but not bad. You said flavor was good. Yeah, it was excellent. There's a lot of caught. The fries were really good. The onion rings were really good. The tartar sauce might not be everybody's boat. It's got lemon in it, so it gives it a little bit different taste, but I liked it. And you're a main boy, so yeah. you, you have <laughs> your specifics yeah, on tartar sauce. Yeah, it was as tartar sauce. Yeah. But it was good. And you said you'd have it again. Yeah, I would do it again. And now this, this looks pretty good. I think Teddy might even share that with you. I don't know if you can work out the gray under the gray chair, but we've had an interesting turn of events. Teddy, don't bring attention. She doesn't know it's there yet. <laughs> we've had an interesting uh, turn of events, but so far it's given its space and Lucy is obeying the downstay. Oh, and she knows it's there. Good downstay. That's a good downstay, honey. A little bit hot getting back in the car, but we wanted to just, we're going to go to Duncan, so the GPS is going to guide us to Duncan, and we have the air conditioner cranked, but I wanted to close this out. That was a 10 out of 10. That was good. Uh, staff was super friendly. Even if you had dined inside, it looked super cute and clean inside. That patio was just amazing to watch the hummingbirds, watch the kayakers, be able to have your dog with you. The food was really good all around. And yes, Teddy would like everyone to know there was a cute and cuddly cat there. It's the big topic of conversation right now. My dog did really good at ignoring the cat like she was supposed to, but Teddy wanted to keep talking about the cat and tried to pet the cat. But yeah, I uh, highly recommend Billie Jean's here in, uh, Kerrville. It's, it's not pronounced anything weird, right? I thought that I'm aware of. Okay, Kerrville. Here in Texas. Right, I mean, not far off I-10, so if you're ever traveling I-10 through Texas and going through Kerrville, it would be worth it if you wanted to get a break from the road and, and come in and dine there. Absolutely. Highly recommend. So, on to the next adventure. Peace and love, gang, and we'll see you on that next one as soon as we can ever have the light turn to get out of the parking lot.